I'm Roz Crowley and today I'm looking at mince pies for the Irish Examiner. We bought some uh, mince pies around Cork looking at markets and supermarkets just to see what was available and to compare the quality and see what might be the best buy for you for Christmas. I'm going to cut into a couple of them just to show you the kind of contrast that we're dealing with. For example, we look at a tiny little mini mince pie here. Let's have a little look at this and we have a lot of uh, a lot of pastry here with not so much fruit uh, on the other hand maybe why don't we have a look at this one here and we see look buckets of fruit look at that i wonder what that tastes like we'll have to get our team of testers later to see if it tastes as good as it looks there's another one here a nice star shape on top of it let's see what this is like look at that Ooh, yeah good fruit there too so now we're going to make puff pastry mince pies. I've got the ingredients here and there are so few of them I wondered if I'd forgotten any of them. We obviously have pastry. This is puff pastry that I bought in a local supermarket. Here we have mince meat, the star of the show. But I like to add some apple and I like to top it up just to add a little bit of creaminess and a sort of a, a saltiness which I like as a mix uh, with the, uh, the sweetness uh, of feta cheese. I'm going to sprinkle it with sugar, having brushed the pastry so it'll glue together with the egg white. That's all there is to it. Now the first thing is just to roll out the pastry. You can actually buy it even ready rolled out and I have nothing, no objection to that whatsoever. I just happened to buy this one today and uh, just roll it out fairly thinly because it has a lot of layers and it'll fluff up when it goes into the oven at a nice high temperature. Now I'm going to take a few cutter shapes. For example, this is a, a star shape. It stays kind of in a star shape. Um, I think really it ends up looking a little bit like a star fish actually, when you've all stuck it together, but um, it still looks very attractive. So I'll just do one of those. And the next one I'm going to do is, this is just the, um, the circular part of a little patty tin. And I'm using that because it's a nice big size. And when you're making a nice, uh, nicely filled mince pie it's nice to have a, a nice wide one so there you are just going to brush this with egg white so that the two pieces of pastry will glue together when the filling is in now we're going to take a little bit of mince meat and place it on the pastry and on top of the apple just a little bit you don't want too much because the juices will ooze out through the pastry if you're not careful if you overstuff it there we go, simple as that. And now my little extra bit is to put a little bit of feta cheese, which I have here, and I'll just sprinkle it on top, just a little bit, just to give that little saltiness. And there you have your filling. The next thing, we're just gonna take the, the top of the pastry shape, and I'm gonna just place it gently over just what you need to do is seal it in very, very tightly. You can't afford to have any gaps at all. So press quite hard. The layers can take it and all the way around and you can sort of pick it up when you've got a bit of a pouch and you can stuff a little bit more into it. Look at that, it's all looking nice already. So we cut a little slit into the pastry, brush with egg white all over and finish off with the sprinkling of caster sugar. That'll brown it up nicely. Now they go straight into the oven, a hot oven at 220 degrees. Hey, I think these are ready now. Let's see. Uh, oh, yes, they are. Here we go. There we are. Some really nice puff pastry mince pies. I hope you're going to enjoy them and stay in touch with us on Feel Good and Happy Christmas from me, Ros Crowley, and all the Feel Good team.